either to my side or straight back, either or is fine. And then we'll go do our maneuver to start off. Cool. Good luck when you're ready. Nice observations to start. Well done. Gas in reverse, it's just so nervous. Yeah, because usually it. Yeah. Reverse has a bad habit of going very quick. For whatever reason, I don't know. No more, no more. Lovely, thank you. So, if you just take us around the bend, so just ahead and follow around to the right, there will be some bays with better road markings. Yeah. What I'd like <laughs> us to do, and um, by the way, this is a car park that the examiners might ask us to use. So if you wouldn't mind, once you're straight with the aisle here, mm -hmm. choose any bay and just drive forwards into one of the bays, please. So I'll go on with the left one. Not great. I'll allow you to finish it because I know you're more than capable. And then before we leave the car park, I will give you just a little pointer though, just yeah. to help you, okay? And I went into that one too fast. Yeah, I can't go any further forward. Cool. So just secure the vehicle, just briefly. Cool. Um, with the headlights, would you just switch it to off for me? Oh, yeah. Lovely. Cheers. Thank you very much. Okay, what we're going to do, this is half the maneuver, if you like. Well done. Mm -hmm. You've completed it. So we're just going to reverse back out to where we previously were. Yeah. Okay. And then outside the mock test, you've already completed the maneuver. Yeah. I'm just going to give you a little bit of Point guidance. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, whenever you're ready. Any questions, just ask. Good right shoulder check. Good. So we'll see that left shoulder a bit more before Sorry, we start yeah, okay. to reverse. Cool. This is actually really nice. So if you just um, kind of put us into drive whenever you're ready. Yeah. Now before we go, mm -hmm. uh, this is pretty much perfect by the looks of it. Um, so the yellow line, we don't need to use this, by the way. Okay, the yellow line's kind of in line with that white line mm -hmm. or the bay marking, the sort of just in line. Yeah. That's a good reference for this vehicle. Yeah. Different in your car, <laughs> okay? So um, what's a slightly better reference is if we just put that yellow line a tiny bit ahead of it. Mm -hmm. Stop. There is a perfect reference. Okay. When we see this, we put on a full lock, okay? okay? So let's try that, and then I'm just going to show you another way afterwards, okay? okay? I'm going to start there, I'm assuming, yeah, okay. Cool. Um, may be useful, I don't know if this makes sense, to see that the orange lines are, are yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice blind spot to the left there. Lovely, thank you. We're going to do one more yep. without the reference this I was time. Say, yeah, okay? It's nice and easy with the camera. <laughs> it's not too bad, huh? Um, remember how to activate the camera? There's a button. One of these? Yeah, on the right side. Okay. Yeah, it says cool. camera as well. Okay, if you just do what we did earlier, just uh, reversing this back out to that left. Excellent blind spot on the left there. Well done. That's where all the learners come from. Cool. Right, whenever you're ready, we'll drive forwards and then just stop somewhere, uh, anywhere you'd like near that arrow, or it doesn't really matter. So, whenever you're ready, just drive forwards a little bit and stop wherever you want, as long as we've got space to do another bay park. Stop yeah, stop there as well. Okay, lovely. Now, no reference point this time. Just turn the wheel and have a look at the orange lines. So, they're not really kind of like. No, yeah. yeah. Right, now, um, what's going to help us with this actually? Another tip, <clears throat> if you just straighten this back up again. Uh, just 
move us forwards a little bit more, but come over to that red car. Okay, so yeah. Try and move us to the right a bit. A little bit more. Yeah, you got it. That's lovely. Yeah, even a bit more. And to just try and straighten the vehicle. Yeah, perfect. And this yeah. Also, you're lovely. All right, now with a little bit more room, this will work better. So again, no reference point, just mm -hmm. turn the wheel. Okay. And then just see what you saw earlier. Do you know how it was like around, the orange lines were yeah. around the white lines? So if you just keep the brake on, but turn the wheel so that you can get those orange lines around. around there wheel. you yeah. go. Okay. There you go. No reference, but it's the same look. Okay. The only thing that we changed was just moving a bit out. It gives, and for all vehicles, better yeah. that we're out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now just see what happens next. If it's safe, we'll try to do a full take mark. <laughs> Sorry, I completely forgot I was doing just that. <coughs> it's in the lines. It is, that's a pass. Yeah. Well done. Okay, cool. Right. How how was it? Was it easy to understand? Or? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, it's totally fine. Right, what we're going to do next is we're going to do the route. Okay. okay. So take your time if you just reverse this as you did previously, and then we're just going to drive out the car park. Cool. Lovely observations. Well done. I don't know why forward is so much harder. Like, in, when you say it out loud, it sounds so stupid because it should be the easiest one, but. Sounds like the easiest it one. It just does, but it is. <laughs> it's not, yeah. Okay, at the end of the road, I'd like us to turn right, please. Excellent position. Then. When in doubt, leave it out. Yeah. There's no harm in missing a opportunity. It's when we miss multiple, that's when it becomes more of a serious driver for. Right, looks like Good. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a little bit of a blind spot on the left there with the sort of hill yeah, and the bush. Time, yeah, that's nice. See yeah, how that can help yeah. us with our visibility just edging forwards. Sometimes when the visibility is so bad, we even need to edge out into the road. And that's okay for the driving test because we need to see if it's safe. So if we need to edge yeah. out, that's fine. Okay, lovely. Two different ways to go here. Uh, there's the stop sign. We're going to avoid that one. We're going to go back to the shop. So if you just turn to the right and there's a roundabout. Okay, okay. So we just go to the right and towards the roundabout, thank you. Do I need to indicate what I just did? Yes, okay. and then follow the road ahead at the roundabout. Thank you. And then here we are back at Mill Hill Broadway, um, where all the shops are, it's quite a busy high street. This is gonna take us to the first big roundabout, Mill Hill Circus roundabout. Shortly after, we'll go have a look at the Apex Corner roundabout. Uh, remember earlier when you came out onto the big road on our previous mock test, and I said that you could also turn from the big road into the side road? Yeah. You said you'd done that before. I'm gonna get you to do a very similar situation a bit later as well. It's okay. quite a big cool. challenge. Um, and then we may revisit the big roundabouts again. Okay. okay. Yeah. I just want to try and focus on the big roundabouts yeah, a little yeah. bit for this one. Interesting. Yeah, so well done with your defensive driving. Regardless of us having priority, you are avoiding an accident. They actually said thank you to you as well, yeah. so it's kind of nice. Right, Nice spacing from your park vehicles. Very common for people to just suddenly open the door or drive away. Mm. So good gaps there in case that happens. Oh, someone's getting a ticket. Not nice. Okay, 
Okay, nothing too tough. When we reach the Mealville Circus, which is still a little bit further ahead, I'm just going to ask us to take the first exit and turn the left. The sign says the north. It's my new favourite colour. Oh, I was going to say it's a fun colour. Yes, isn't it? I think it's a nice brown too. Yeah, so this is what we were talking about earlier. Good, so there's plenty of room for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice mirror checks, good early signal. Excellent position. Early vision, early decision. First big roundabout complete. I don't feel too bad actually at all. That didn't even feel like a big roundabout. Not too bad when we turn left, is yeah, it? Yeah, I was going to yeah. say if we we're going forward or something, it might be cool. more. The next one, yes, that's what we'll do. Okay. We'll go forward. <laughs> So it's a little bit further ahead. When we get close, I'll just repeat the direction. Until then, just follow the road ahead. Let's do our show me question real quick. So when it's safe, could you show us how to demiss the front window? Perfect. Amazing. Thank you. They made me do that on a 50 over Yes. No. Maybe even open the window. No. <laughs> What's worse? In the rain. I've actually witnessed that a few times, so it's not a joke. Now, the bus stop is coming up on the left. Just okay. as a tip, if there's no one on the bus stop, like the silver Range Rover, yeah. go over the bus stop. So I'll just copy what you did. Yeah. Lovely. It's just a little bit safer to use the left lane to go straight at the roundabout, like you to follow the road ahead, you know, straight the okay. second exit. So. Uh, everyone will be asking this question at home and probably in your head right now. We can also use that lane to go straight. I was going to say, I would have probably said that one just because I was unsure. That's fine as well. It's just this one's a bit safer. Lovely, well done. We're just going to continue to follow the road ahead. And there's another tip. Um, sometimes we'll have vehicles edging out on the roundabout they might edge out so far that they're going to block you from going straight in the roundabout okay you can just stop on the roundabout all right it's safer than swerving over into the other lane yeah you know there may be vehicles there so if someone's edged out and you can't continue just slowly come to a stop it's okay. safer than swerving out so right we've got two bridges here this is the first one mm -hmm. just before the second bridge turn okay. left Okay, so it will be the next road on the left, just before oh, this bridge. Okay. Yeah. Nice turn, well done. The end of the road, turn left. Excellent mirrors. repositioning good mirror check as well very safe position in case of oncoming traffic okay if you could find a convenient or safe place to pull up on the left please All right, lovely. What we're going to do next is a manoeuvre called emergency stop. Mm -hmm. I'll put my hand up and say stop. At that point, okay. I'd just like you to do emergency stop like you practiced before. Okay. Cool. Any questions? No. All right, take time when you're ready and safe. Drive on and just wait for my signal. Cool. Well, I like to signal right before I've looked right. Yes, like yes, it. yes. Very good tip, actually. So okay. always signal right before you look or move. Okay. Cool. Signaling first is part of preparation, so yes. I have to wait to see what this vehicle does before <laughs> anything. It's not looking too bad after this car, so just be ready. Stop! And when you're ready, drive on. Thank you. All right, lovely. Nice observations before moving off. Good braking overall. If you'd like to be firmer, that's well, okay as well. Bit, probably... I think you can go firmer, that's fine. At the end of the road, turning left. All good though, yeah? Nice cool. manoeuvre. 
and especially with your observations before you move off, that's the most important part. Lovely observations here again, and observations, while we're on the theme, is the number one reason why people fail the driving test. So it could be observations on the maneuvers you just demonstrated, or observations at the junction like you just previously did. Now, earlier we had double roundabouts on Page Street. Yeah. This one I still haven't given a name to. There's a petrol station that we'll drive past. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll use that, I don't know. Um, anyways, the point being is we're going to be approaching double roundabouts next, okay? Now, I would like to do some independent driving here. Follow the sign to Totteridge. No, Totteridge, okay. you know what's coming. Oh, no. No, the first exit, and then, okay, straight. I knew you knew where you were going. I, I know, I know where so. I'm going, so. <laughs> yeah, that's nice positioning, well done. Just in case any pedestrians come along. Thank you. Nice. Good observations from both roundabouts, very good. And we were talking about the observations earlier, so that's where people make mistakes. I feel like if I didn't know where I was going, just then I would have probably got a bit confused. So, um, on that note, <laughs> where are we going to go next? Or what's coming up next? The big apex yes, corner, isn't it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, there will be a sign coming up next, and I'd just like you to follow the sign towards C London. So the first sign says C London for Central London. I think you just took my glasses off as well. Okay, okay. we're going right. You got, got it. it. If we miss that sign, there's another one here that says Mill Hill. And uh, one of the viewers on the live earlier, and uh, the name will come to me, uh, was asking about this actually. And this is a big, um, big topic for a lot of people. How do we do what's coming up next? Right, this one was a little bit scary. Apex Corner, the infamous. Good deep breaths. <laughs> Nice gap from the car in front as well, so you can still see the tyres, we're not too close. Mm -hmm. yeah. They may roll back a slight hill, so for that reason we've got a safe distance. Oh, it's extra busy right now, that's fun. I think it's always busy. <laughs> from the vehicle in front, just seeing those tyres. There's going to be another roundabout coming up. We did do it earlier. You said it was too yeah. easy. <laughs> so this time we'll go straight at this roundabout. We'll get a second exit. Signs so to see London again, actually. So they're continuing to follow the signs to Central London. Oops. 
Uh, safer lane would be the left if okay, it's cool. allowed. So you've got the road marking system. We're allowed yeah. to use this lane. Uh, sometimes for the busy round, big roundabouts, I meant to say, the left can be left only. Yeah, so do okay. just triple check the road markings. And yeah, if you can, use the left lane to go straight. After we complete the roundabout, just mm -hmm. straight ahead. Yeah. There's a road coming up shortly after, so just be prepared for me to ask you to take that road. Straight for now. Mm -hmm. I like the little right mirror check there, that's lovely. Nice timing on your left signal. And it's just, yeah, just before the petrol station, just where the road marking the white line is. Thank you. And then again, left. So left here, left yeah. we get. Perfect. Albert Road. Cool beans. Uh, learners got a little confused there. Hop ahead. They think it's a T-junction, and it's just following the road. Excellent, nice braking, good speed for your bend. Lovely for no indication. If that sounds a bit confusing at home, we're not crossing any lines, we're just following the lines like a train on a train track. That means following the road, so if you hear your examiner say follow the road, no signal. At the end of the road, turn left. Is it a problem if I were to say follow? Um, could be marked as a minor driver fault. Really? Okay, interesting. And then at the roundabout, second exit straight ahead like the bus. Am I allowed to stay in the lane then? Either or, uh, middle or left, providing it's allowed, left lane is safer. Good with your lane. Well done. Can be confusing, huh? That was a bit weird. Mm -hmm. Good. That's why I just wanted to do this one mm -hmm. as well. Also, not that we have, but there's a keep clear zone. The vehicle yeah. behind stopped in the keep clear zone. Yeah. You, you're good. Yeah, okay. um, now, that's a serious for the car behind. Yeah. So I just wanted to highlight that keep clear zone. I actually failed one of my tests because I stopped in there. If you want to watch that, it's not on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really understand what happened in the middle there. Like, I know I was kind of in my lane but it felt like those two lanes kind of almost merged for a second was that yeah i get it there's no markings yeah. that's maybe why so it's just a blank canvas it was i don't know it's odd yes it will feel that way because it's almost like we can't see that left lane yeah so it feels like that position which you were in is safer it's yeah. more likely to continue right if we were to keep hard left, it looks like we're going to go we're first go, exit. Yeah. Okay. If there were road markings, then it would be a lot easier to yeah. understand. Because when they did come back, it was very easy for me to you know got it, where but I was saw going. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. And you're really looking for them. That's the most important part. Okay. So, I love this car. That's interesting. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, yeah, but I feel like they probably scrape every speed bump they go past. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the lowered vehicles definitely do. Not a good car for London. <laughs> nah, it's a painful experience as well. If you love cars, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're just going to go towards the mini roundabouts we did last time. Nothing too tough, just like it's a turn left, first exit. Very good observations. Nice looking at the wheels, good double check on that motorbike as well. Okay, we're just going to drive past the car park that we started in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take us back to the test centre this time. Okay, okay? Cool. So there'll be two mini roundabouts. The first one just straight ahead for me, please. Good braking, nice observations. 
Okay, the second roundabout's a bit further down and we're just passing Mill Hill Test Centre here on our left. The second roundabout turn right, second exit, so turning right, second exit. Nice mirrors, nice signal, nice position also. And that's the routine mirror signal position. Very good observations. Well done, nice double check. Good position, going slightly towards the circle, even a little bit on the circle is okay. So for everyone at home, if you're turning right on the mini roundabout, you're allowed to go slightly on the circle, it's okay. It can be a lot safer, especially for this test center area. No Correct, no signs, regular street lights, 30. This road will take us all the way to the test centre. Uh, we're going to go in the same way that we went in last time, and we'll probably stop at the same place that we stopped at last time. So, you know, without saying too much, there's a little bit of important bits as we get in towards the test centre. I know you know what it is, but, you know, I'll just stop. Now that you've said that, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you're just talking about, like, speed and, like, the crossroads, or if there's something before that. Uh, it's... If you remember where the roundabout is inside the test centre area, like yeah. I said, I don't really think it's a roundabout, but it is. And you mentioned about the 10 mile an hour speed limit as well. Yeah. It's just after that roundabout. Okay, and then we'll figure out one of Yeah, you did actually bring it up. You, you mentioned it uh, when we went in the last time, so you may also mention it again. It's all right. It's not a lot you can do here. No options, really. You've got to go through the potholes. You know, we had no space yeah, here. Besides, or again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for anyone that needs to go through a pothole, you can just, what you did is just slightly slow the vehicle down and just hold the steering a little firmer because sometimes the potholes can just, you know, move the steering a little. So holding the steering firmer is going to keep better control. So many of those roads. Yeah, they just resurfaced a bit behind us, so hopefully they'll get to this section next. Alright, so we're coming up towards the blue building and there's two blue buildings mm -hmm. and there's a gap in between. Okay. So we'll just come up to the blue buildings when we get closer I'll give the direction and that will take us back into Hendon Driving Test Centre. Correct, yeah. This is where the silver car is coming yeah. out if we just take the next left in between the two blue buildings. Bellfront Park. Thank you. And then when we reach the roundabout, nothing too tough. Just like us to turn left, first exit. Lovely. It felt like you scanned the road ahead there for any oncoming yeah. traffic. Well done. That was the important bit that I mentioned. Okay. So it's that little tiny sign that we had in the George Bush showing priority. Okay, really poor road markings coming up. Um, if it's safe at the crossroads, just follow the road ahead, please. Something not being dangerous like that vehicle there. Very good observations. It's quite hard to see here with all the parked yeah. vehicles. Uh, mentioning that there's a mirror here which can help us with visibility for this bend. And just to repeat myself, you may come back into the test centre or even exit the test centre using this road now. So okay. the examiners will get you to come through here. So that mirror could be helpful. And then, as we mentioned, the parked vehicles, you could have them in the middle of the road here, yeah. making <laughs> deliveries, etc. Okay, what I'd like us to do is just kind of pull up next to that Kia for me, please. I'm 
you slow down as you get to the Kia. We'll just stop in front of the speed bump, I reckon. So just keep it going straight okay. for me. And just come up to the speed bump and see what happens. It might be for us. Just let you go. Oh, brilliant. Would you tap that for me, please? Yep. Lovely. And if you just uh, place, oh, press your foot on the brake if mm -hmm. it isn't already and push this button. Oh, is it going to park itself? Yeah, and if you just let, let go, go of the brake, close your eyes and pray. That was a joke. <laughs> just in case. All right, obviously, we just have a little look around. I'm just speeding this up. I don't want to double park, and it is a very small space. It's not test standard space, and we have completed our maneuver earlier. Okay, so this is just to get us off the road a bit quicker, that's all. All right, lovely. If you just do me an extra favor, push the power button. Thank you. We will know it's the end of the test when we press the power button or turn the key and switch the engine off. This is my most favorite part of the whole test. As it is a tradition, I will ask, how do you feel it went? I think that one was okay. Yes. Well, like I'm forgetting, I know something happened. I might be forgetting something as well, Dave. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. That's like one thing that happened, but I don't remember what it was right now. All right. If anyone sees <laughs> it or knows, put it in the comments down below. It I'll, wasn't big. It like, wasn't. Something little happened, but I don't remember what it was. I'd like to say congratulations. You passed. Well <laughs> okay, done. Cool. I didn't record any minor driver faults or anything. Um, so that would be a clean sheet, as we call it in the business. I okay. emphasize that sheet. <laughs> and um, any questions from yourself before we sign off? No, no it's been an yeah. absolute pleasure. Thank you again. That'll be it for today. Until next time, guys, stay safe. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Cool.